These worms are small, they're red, blood red, and they occur in, well, knots of worms, lots of worms together. Finding the worms in a place like Sulphur Cave shows that there are even places on Earth where creatures can live where they are not connected to or dependent upon sunlight at all. Sulphur Cave is full of toxic gases. If you're going into Sulphur Cave, can't go in there without self-contained breathing apparatus. Just like a stinky, muddy, goopy hole in the ground and deadly to humans and most other creatures that's full of life. My initial reaction when I first saw the worms was, wow, there's really something living in this cave. And it immediately made me think they could be a new species. They probably live nowhere else on the planet. To keep these worms alive between the cave and the museum, my homemade method of oxygenating these worms is just to aerate them through this little straw. Just make sure I don't drink any by accident. The last thing I'd want to do would be suck up a bunch of worms. If you go into a toxic cave, you don't expect anything exciting living there because it's supposed to be dead. And suddenly you find worms that even look nice. Well, as much as worms can look nice. Some of the items we're researching still with the worms include how and why their blood binds oxygen so well. There could be some potential medical benefits to that. And some other things we're researching with the worms include they seem to have an unknown substance that reduces the hydrogen sulfide. And this could potentially help with reducing hydrogen sulfide in our environment. And we always think, well, to have life on another planet, it has to be like Earth. This cave is certainly not like Earth. The worms in Sulphur Cave survive without sunlight because they're living on bacteria that get all their energy from the hot spring water that feeds the cave. So this could be similar to what might go on on another planet, such as Mars, because on other planets there could be underground caves that could easily harbor life similar to the Sulphur Cave worms. It's a nice, it's just, it's just a humongous Let's amount go. of worms. Dave, he finds all sorts of exciting things. Yeah. He just goes into places where normal people don't go and finds very exciting little worms. When you hear the beeps go off, it means you're in a very dangerous level of carbon dioxide and you have to leave right away or you could go unconscious and die right there.